Mr. Gregory. As uh, Dr. Amos just said, uh, my name is Melanie. I'm a first year medical student at Stanford, and I thought I would play some music for you. How does that sound for you? It's nice. Good. It breaks the monotony. Good. <laughs> I've noticed the things that make me a good musician, for example, are things that directly relate to how I might interact with patients or approach how I study medicine. So I, th I think they're inseparable, but they're often not necessarily taken seriously. I think there's a lot of skepticism Medicine is an art form in itself. Having the ability to speak with a patient and understand their story is really important. I think most of medicine outside of the science is really storytelling and seeing people for who they are and for why they're in the situation that they might be in, as well as being able to react in a way that you would react with any one of your really close family members. Like, I was thinking of making this part here, like a skin flap, where it oh, comes love off of yeah. the jawline. Mm -hmm. So it's like retracted back. I love the idea of this as a skin flap. Yeah, Some I of the think faces like will be helpful. here, and then that would kind of cut in, and then another flap there. And so, like, could this become, like, one of your zygomaticus muscles? There are lots of opportunities for people like myself to express themselves and just find ways to continue their creative practice while undergoing the rigor of <laughs> medical school. I can envision a lot of different paths that would provide me with that fulfillment and that creative outlet as well as opportunity to care for patients, which is also why I chose Stanford, because they encourage you to do that. My grandmother was a music historian, a harpist, and a pianist. I would bring my cello to her house starting at age eight and continuing and just sharing what I was learning and playing for her. So it was a really meaningful part of our relationship that we had together. And she ended up passing away a few years ago from complications from Parkinson's and I started becoming more interested in medicine as a field. I've seen how important the arts are in caring for other people as well. Whether it's listening to music, doing artwork, visual artwork, playing an instrument yourself, there are so many incredible effects that it can have on decreasing anxiety and pain. When the pandemic first started, I was sent a New York Times article by one of my professors at Brown. It was an article about a virtual concert program where musicians were playing live Zoom concerts for critically ill patients in the hospital. And so a few weeks later, I had my first Zoom concert with a patient who was critically ill with COVID, was intubated, was likely not going to make it. And I just remember hearing silence and knowing that this person on the other end of the line was there, but wasn't able to respond. And it was a really heavy moment for me. You see people in their most intimate moments for 20, 30 minutes and share something that's so personal that you're playing from your bedroom, that they're seeing your life. And then you just click the red button and often never see them again. It's a really interesting emotional experience, but incredibly rewarding.